Tesla co-founder JB Strabo just solved EV's biggest problem to reach mass scale. Many of you are probably aware that JB left his role as Tesla CTO in 2019 in order to focus 100% of his time in his own startup called Redwood Materials. And Redwood has been developing battery recycling technology since 2017. Over the past year, they did a pilot program to collect and recycle batteries from Volvo and Ford. And they just released a report with the data for this program. And let me just say the results look really good. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Alejandro and I build financial software for visualstocks.com. Our purpose is to make financial research in tech stocks such as Tesla very easy for retail investors. All right, so let me go over the problem that JB is trying to solve. Right now, battery recycling is extremely complex and time consuming due to all the different form factors. Because of that, most of the raw materials used in a battery come from mining. But according to Elon Musk, the two main problems are nickel extraction and lithium refinement. In the case of nickel, price has recently started climbing up again, making batteries extremely expensive expensive and lithium even though it's abundant refining it is really difficult so if we could recycle the battery completely we could make both nickel and lithium much much cheaper and completely remove the bottleneck caused by lack of mining and this is why the report from redwood materials is so crucial they have collected 1268 battery packs from cars made by volvo and ford so over a thousand cars and 19 different models needless to say the battery packs and the chemistries were very diverse even like that redwood materials materials managed to recover 95% of all the minerals in the battery. This includes the lithium and the nickel that Tesla so desperately wants, plus cobalt, copper, and manganese. This is extremely impressive because those cells were incredibly damaged to begin with and shows that JB's top secret methodology works really well at scale. Even the US Department of Energy tested redwood materials against anodes built with virgin resources, and they found out that they had identical performances, discharge capacity, and efficiency. Now, now, Redwood's business model is to go ahead and sell those minerals to battery manufacturers or car makers, which essentially drops the cost of goods sold for every automaker. And it seems like they have solved EV's biggest problem, which was raw materials. So now they just have to scale their recycling facilities to meet the demand. The interesting thing though, is they still haven't partnered with Tesla yet, which is very weird because Elon and JB have always been in good terms. So now there are rumors that Redwood Materials cannot recycle the 4680 structural pack, at least not yet. But I'm not super worried about that because if you go to a junkyard, you won't find a lot of structural packs that have 4680. You mostly find all EVs with all battery packs. So JB is probably just focusing on that part of the market because there isn't that much demand to recycle 4680 yet. But Tesla is by far the biggest EV maker in the world. So at some point, those structural packs that have 4680s will be the majority of recycled demand. So there's no doubt in my mind that when that happens, JB is going to be ready to take advantage of those. Tesla can buy the anodes from Redwood materials directly, regardless of what kind of battery those materials came from. So if you think about it, this will drop Tesla's cost of goods sold even further. And now that we're in the subject of cutting costs, do you guys know that Tesla developed their own operating system to save on operating costs? I was really surprised when I found out. So I made a video about that. And if you guys found this video valuable and interesting, you're probably going to like that one as well. In any case, thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.